one. The book lies open in all the hallways, in all the oases, in all the dreams, around every corner, behind every sand dune. In this dream, too, you have to add a line. Your place is between the already written and the unwritten in the white, empty space. In this dream, Stalin smiled, and Heidegger, too. In this dream, cockroaches scuttled from the book, but it had to be written in despite the smiles. A dream of a book, a dream of a desert in a book, a dream of a desert that runs from the book, a dream of a book and a desert, a dream of sand through fingers, a dream of white, a dream of mica, a dream of fenex, a dream of a desert spilling from the book into and through the hallway and out the door. And a voice said, write in the book and you will be healed. A voice said, a voice said, my middle, my voice, my will, write in the book. Write the desert, the dream, write the sand, the white, write the running, dream the book. Two, a dream of Stalin, a dream of Ceylon, a dream of parents, a dream of houses. In the first house, Ceylon hides in a closet and Stalin bangs his big boots and stomps over the wooden floor. In the second house, Ceylon escapes through the back window and Stalin screams and tears at his mustaches. In the third house, we are not. It is full to overflowing with all the parents, everybody's parents, Ceylon's and Stalin's and mine too. In the fourth house, there is a city in ruins. A moon stands above it. It is white. It is full. It has jebels and wadis on it. It is pouring with sand. <laughs>